lives. Uh, today we're going to be making paper squishies that look like these. The materials you will need are a piece of paper, a pencil, markers, scissors, you can have a ruler but you don't need one, it's optional, um, packing tape, and stuffing, and if you don't have it you can use a trash bag. Um, to get started, we're going to draw anything but it needs to be a square because that way it's easier to tape. Um, but if you want to do something that isn't a square, just make a square background like that. Um, you can do something really simple like a heart or a smiley face. Or you can do something complex like this. So to start, we're going to draw any design. And the reason this is optional is because it can make your lines even, which makes it easier to cut and tape. So, so you're making the orange rectangle here is where yeah. what will become the orange rectangle. Correct. Just or something similar. And then you can draw whatever you want. Can I borrow that when you're done? Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. Now we're gonna get started drawing our designs. So what I'm gonna, gonna make draw? I'm gonna make a star. Cause I have a smiley face and a heart but I don't have a star yet, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another smiley face, because okay. it seems easy. You can use that for inspiration. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm good at art, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> this is, okay. We have our star. This is going to be my design. So now the markers come into play. It's just gonna be a very basic star. Now I'm going to color it. Mine's off center. It doesn't matter. I, it doesn't matter. Okay. It can be you off say center. So. And I can color mine? You can start to color yours, yeah. So. So right now I'm using yellow to color in my star. What color is your happy face going to be? Oh, I thought it would be the traditional yellow, but since you're using yellow, I'll go with, I'll go with orange. Isn't orange your favorite color? It is my favorite color. Or was it green? Orange. Orange. My high school alma mater colors. Orange and black, Merced High. I want to go to Merced College. Because you said if I do, I can move in with Grandma. <laughs> Have you discussed this with your grandmother? Not yet. But, yeah. Now it looks like a pumpkin. It's okay. I think it's, orange was it's, a bad it's choice. A, no, it's a very happy pumpkin. Okay. It hasn't had its guts carved out yet. Okay, so I'm done with my star. So we're just waiting on I'll Happy this, Face McGee over I'll here. make this snappy. Okay, so I decided I am going to do a background, and it's going to be black. And, and I've decided to turn this into a pumpkin. Do a pumpkin. I like yeah. it. It looks good. It kind of looks like um, it's the, the square pumpkin. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a movie, a Halloween movie, about like a square pumpkin. Sounds interesting. Yeah. He, yeah. He saved the day or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of satisfying. Just like filling a hole with blackness. Okay. I have now colored my background color behind my star, which is black. And my dad is finished with his pumpkin. It's a smiley face and with a, just a little bit told. of green hair. <laughs> okay. And I've chose not to do a background color. Yes. Okay, so this is my entire background. I decided to make it smaller. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take some packing tape and I love that sound. It's it's a thing. Okay, and we're going to tape over our entire design. So, why packing tape as opposed to scotch tape? I used to use scotch tape, um, and you can use scotch tape if that's what you have around, but I prefer packing tape because scotch tape, um, it, it makes, your co makes your color less vibrant because it has a tint to it. So it kind of... Kind of a dull, flat it, tint. Yeah, so. it oh. dulls your, it's fine. It dulls your 
design it. While you're doing that, I'm going to cut out my. You want oh, to. Oh, no, I need to put the tape, tape first. first. That's right. That's right. So, and if you get the tape like a little bit crooked, it's fine because you can tape multiple layers. Okay. So we're using tape. We're using tape so that way when you squish it, it doesn't get all wrinkly and ruined. It comes back. So that's why you tape it because with regular paper, when you crumple it, when you crumple it, it doesn't, you know, rise again. So, okay, I'm done putting the tape on the front part of my design, and on some of my squishies, I tape the back, but you don't have to. It actually makes it feel different if you don't. Um, I didn't tape this one, and kind of like it better when it's not taped, so you can feel the difference. This one's taped, the one you're holding is not. I think I'm going to tape the back side of mine. I'm not. Okay. So you're going to need a second piece of paper. How will I do that? Paper. I have my second piece of paper. That one, you just cut it once it's cut out. And then do the back? Yeah. Or you can, you can either cut it out and then tape that part, but then you're going to have to cut all the excess off. Or you can just right now have a general idea of where your design is and just tape like a whole general area and then cut it out. And then cut that. I think I'll do that. Okay. So my dad has taped the back side of his two papers. So he taped the back paper. I'm not. So that way you can see how it turns out different. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut my... Now we're going to cut our designs. So you're going to cut the whole design out. Um, both, both pieces both of paper. Both pieces of paper. You do need a second piece of paper to cut. So that way, whether you tape it or not, you will have two even pieces when you um, cut it. So I'm cutting two at once. Yes, but yours is also taped on the back, and mine's not. Yours is not. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you're going to want to cut out your entire design, the whole square. Mine's kind of confusing because it was going to be like this, but then I just made it smaller. So this is my whole design. Make mine a little smaller too. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out my star design. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to tape any three sides of your design. Okay, so we're going to tape all but one side. So... This is side number one, and you're just going to cut off all the excess. No, I'm good. No, I'm alright. What I usually do is just make one little snip and then drag it off. And then you use your handy dandy marker box. Stick that on there. Okay. Oh, I was going to make a joke about the, the marker box getting a gold star, but it seems corny. Okay, so I don't need all of this, um, so I'm just going to cut some of it off like so. It's still a bit much, but oh well. Um, so you only need like a little bit. This is a bit much. You only need like to here, so... So, but it's fine. It's and fine. Gonna fold it and then over. we're just going to fold it over okay. to tape the two sides together. And then we're going to repeat with two other sides. So now. And you'll do. I'll do this side and this side. Okay. And we're going to leave one side open. And then we're going to stuff it. Okay, so now we have three sides taped. And we have our little it's a pouch. Hole. It is a pouch. Okay. So if you want to stop here and give these to your dog. He or she can wear them as mittens. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's keep going. Well, he or she would appreciate it. So. Um, now that we have our pocket, we're going to make sure there's space in there just by like, you know. Um, I know what comes This next. one needs a little bit more of a pinch. So does this one. So, okay. So now we're going to take our stuffing. Okay. And like I said, if you don't have stuffing, you can use a garbage bag, a trash bag, and it will fit if you crumble it. A garbage bag will fit into there. Yeah. If you crumble it, if you go, it will fit. 
I find that hard to believe. Well, let's try it. Okay, so we, we've got our pocket, like I've said. Yeah, okay, so we're going to take our nice little little fluff and we're just going to pack it in there like so. So is, gonna, it is how much is too much? Um, if it's, it, you'll know because it'll be like, you can practice by like shoving this closed to imitate that it's taped. And then if it's too much, it'll be like hard. So if okay. you want it to be like slow rising or high rising, there's different amounts. Like this is pretty slow rising. It seems slow rising. Mine will be pretty slow rising because I didn't tape the back. So it makes it more airy feeling. I prefer it without the back taped. And then if you did to put too much stuffing and it's already taped and you can't take it out, what you can do is cut tiny little holes in the corners and that'll make it less hard and okay and then you can just keep stuffing more and more stuffing until you think that um, the consistency of the squish is or enough for your liking it's a chef's kiss even though we're not cooking it's a squishy maker's kiss seal of approval so you're just going to keep packing it in there I, I think it's a good amount so what we're going to do now is just, you're going to want to grab your pencil and you're going to want to take your eraser side and just, because when your fingers go in there, it like comes with it out and it's just not, it like it comes out. No, we don't want that. We want to really pack it down by packing down the sides with the eraser. So I think that's good for mine. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that there's no stuffing like at the very top and then I'm going to push down on the final side like this so that I can tape it. I'm going to get my tape. I love that side. Um, I put a, I pulled like a very long piece of tape so you can use my excess okay. when you're done because I say excess because I'm fancy like that and just just a higher level of thinking right here. So you can use, just take that, because mine's a little bit, there we go. So now, like I said, make sure there's none around the brim, and then we're just gonna, just, we're just, do that, okay? Now we're gonna tape. Just shove your tape on there, just like you did the other three sides. Okay. If the other three sides are messed up, you might want to try a different approach. But if they're pretty good, then do the same thing you did. Because odds are it'll be good again. This one is giving me a little bit of trouble. It's stubborn, like me. It's an awkward smile, is what that's called. Okay, so I'm going to fold it. It's very hard now that it's stuck to fold, to fold it. So it is harder. Yeah, it's harder to stuff it once it's like to, to fold it once it's stuffed. Okay, how's your pumpkin smiley going? It's going well. I think I have all four sides fully taped. I and can I start squishing now? You you may. I left a side out and now I don't know where it is. So what I'm going to do to find breaches, which are what I call holes, because again, I'm fancy, are is I'm just going to squish it and see where the air comes out. So it's coming out right here. So That's that means nice. we're going to have to put a little more tape to fill that hole. We're only going to need a little bit here because it's just a small little breach. Again, I'm fancy like that, so I say breach. Just gonna stick that on there. We're just gonna fold and crease. Cut that off. Refold and recrease. Then we're just going to one more time. I just, for good measure, go around the edges. So I guess, um, mind. This, this is nice. This could come in handy. Yeah. Being your dad and all. A stress ball is, uh, a stress reliever is mm -hmm. uh, necessary. Sometimes. Necessary? <laughs> no, I, I'm making one in the process right now just for history class. Oh, 
How did yours come out? It came out okay. I did not want it to be taped on the back, but because this one was so tall and I just folded it without cutting it, half of it's taped, half of it's not. Not good, not bad. So you can make these in any size that you want to, right? Mm hmm I have paper squishies about my Hamilton one that I gave to my mom was like the size of this hole right here, maybe even this one. It was tiny. And I have a calculator um, paper squishy that's like half the size of this thing here, which is beautiful, by the way. Um, but yeah, you can make them in any size you want. Um, on TikTok, I've seen them like this big. Like the size of a pillow. Yeah, like the size of a pillow. You should use these as your pillow. No, that wouldn't be comfy. Anyway, but yeah, I find all my ideas on Google, like um, this thing, I wanted to do a dragon, so I Googled dragon, believe it or not, and this is what came up, so I drew it, and I kind of like it. Um, yeah. If That's they, one of my favorites that you've done. Yeah, me too. If, if they rip, you can always replace them by, um, if there's a rip here, like, there was like four rips on this one, and I did them all in the car. So if there's a rip here, you just place down on the rip like this so that there's no stuffing there, and then tape it, and then after that there's no stuffing there, so you want to like make sure it's firmly on there and pat it down, and then get, incorporate the stuffing back into that spot. So I hope you enjoyed making paper squishies with us today. Mm -hmm. They are very fun and very colorful, and you can customize them in any way you want. They're great at relieving stress, and so I hope you make them at home.